Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Miss Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video, I know you guys know that I like color sorters. So today I have a conveyor belt color sorter. So if you want to see that, stay with me. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. If you guys have been noticing that I've been doing a lot of videos of VexVR and virtual online sessions, it's because that's where I'm teaching right now. In the past, I've been able to show you projects that my students have done in class, but because we're not in school right now, and you know, during the summer, I was the one building the projects and I just don't have a lot of time to do that right now. So I'm just giving you guys a heads up that I always try to give you guys Monday through Thursday videos, but because we're doing online sessions and my students aren't building robots, um, you might see me skip some days. So I'm just gonna give you guys a heads up on that. I'm gonna try to continue my schedule on Monday through Thursday, but if you see missing days of videos, it's just because we're doing online sessions and then I'm just not having the time to build the robots like that like I was during the summer so I'm just giving you guys a heads up but thank you guys for still watching okay so this color sorter that's a conveyor belt I'm using four large motors one motor to actually run the conveyor belt and three large motors that are basically going to be used to knock off certain color Lego blocks so it's a really cool project for me because I'm always fascinated with conveyor belts, and you guys know I love color sorters, so it's just one of those things where you take two really cool things that you like, and you put it together. So let me go ahead and show you this color sorter conveyor belt. Okay, everybody, so there is my color sorter conveyor belt. So basically, here's how this is gonna work. I'm going to be putting one of these either black, red, or yellow Lego pieces onto the conveyor belt, and you can notice I set my color sensor up right there. And when the color sensor senses which color it is, it's gonna, the conveyor belt's gonna basically take it down the, the line here. And the large motor that's been programmed for each color is going to knock off the block into the correct bins. Okay, let me show you the three large motors here. I basically just put them all three together um, just because this conveyor belt wasn't too long so I had to make sure I had them as close together as I could and then uh, this one it's on the left this one it's on the left and then this one's on the right and I just had to kind of make do with what I had um, to push these pieces off so if you can see when this turns it basically will push this arm out to knock the pieces into the colored bins so I'm just giving you guys the behind the scenes look here I don't know if I've ever done a project with four large motors, but this is pretty cool. And there's the color sensor right here that will sense the colored Lego as it goes down the conveyor belt. Okay, we're going to show it yellow and it should be able to go into this first bin. We're going to show it red and it should be able to go into the second bin. And we're going to show it black, and it should be able to go into that last bin. Right there. Nice.
right, so there you have it, Mr. Hino's color sorter conveyor belt. It's just so cool because you can make connections to, you know, M&Ms, candy, something, you know, anything, cars, anything that has some type of assembly line and, you know, needs to be sorted. Just very cool. So if you get a chance, I'm going to throw this color sorter um, instructions into your uh, description. It's basically a stripped down version of the color sorter. I don't have, you know, the, the other parts to it where, you know, the color sorter goes back and forth. So it's just the conveyor belt. I'll also send you guys my conveyor belt link too, because that was kind of cool. And then the rest of it, I kind of just um, created it myself. So hopefully from the video, you were able to see how I built it. But you guys can, you know, come up with your own way of knocking the pieces off the conveyor belt if you guys want to give this a shot. So. Okay, guys, hopefully you're still staying safe. I don't know if you guys are back in school yet. I wish we were back in school, but we're doing the best we can with this virtual learning. So again, I hope I can bring you guys the videos that I normally do Monday through Thursday. And again, if you see me skip a day, it's just because we're so busy with the virtual learning and no robots are getting built. And I'm trying to do my best um, maybe over the weekend to, to build you guys robots to show you. But if not, if you see me miss a day, it's just because we're so busy and it's almost like Santa's factory. Nothing's getting built, so it's kind of hard to, to bring those videos to you guys. So hopefully you guys can stay with me until hopefully we can get back into class. I don't know. Okay, guys, I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.